Oh, hello. Let me get my camera. Sorry to make everybody dizzy. Hi. <laughs> I am. Don't mind my hair, number one, because it's looking like crazy business right now because I just washed it. Okay. Let me. There we go. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Erica. My girls are here already. Let me do something with this crazy business. Woo! It takes a lot of products and things to make this look good. <laughs> Can you guys see me? Okay. Oh, the ads. Gotta have the ads. I remember to monetize this one. <laughs> What up, YouTube? I know it's been a long time. I haven't been here in a while. I've been letting life get the best of me. I have. <laughs> yeah, Curly Sue, Curly Q. I don't know. It's looking a mess. It's just going to have to be this O and I clip. It's just going to have to look like some crazy business file. Because I'm late, just like always. How you ladies doing today? I was trying to put, oh goodness, I was trying to put um, the link on Facebook. Does anybody have the link where we are to copy it to me? That would be awesome if you could. My mama called right before I was getting ready and I was trying to do my eyebrows. That's a little bit better. Um, psh, whatever. It's whatever. Let me get my big behind situated here. Okay. Well, hello, Cheeriness TV. Is that Tanya? Is that Tanya? I think that's Tanya. <laughs> well, I'm going to put my hair down later today. I don't know if I will during this live because check out my new makeup slash night shirt that has cookies and milk on it. How cute is that? Yeah. Got to learn how to do what? Yay, Tanya. Well, I know you're Tanya's beauty box or something else too. And so I'm like, okay. Yeah, anyways, I've got a mountain here that I want to share with you guys that I got from BoxyCharm, that I got from the Ulta sale. Some of it came in my BoxyCharm, some of it I ordered elsewhere. I'm just going to show you all the jazz. Even though I don't eat cookies and I don't drink milk, I still think they're super cute. <laughs> they're super cute. Oh my gosh, my hair is a hot mess. I'm going to spray some hairspray on my bangs. This is what I do when I'm getting my doing my hair I leave it semi wet and put a whole bunch of products in it and let it just kind of dry naturally and then after it I flip my head over and put a whole bunch of hairspray in it and it makes it look like I have some so yeah anyways I thought it was cute and I like the color the color is a little bit muted out I guess because of my lights Ooh, yum my favorite cookies are chocolate chip cookies with lots of nuts, like pecans or walnuts or something like that. Cheers. So I've been out of the loop. I've been letting life get the best of me. Uh, work has been difficult. Um, you know, it's I've been going through it. That's all I can say. I've been going through it. Let life get the best of me. And then I had a little talk with myself yesterday and I said, self, you are not doing things that you enjoy and you're doing all the obligations, but you're not doing any of the fun. You're not doing anything that brings you joy. So last night I went to a couple lives with um, Monique and saw all my lovelies and it just reminded me that I miss this and I love this and this is uplifting and I need to do it. Whether I feel like I'm in the mood or not. I am teaching in person. I have been teaching in person since um, August. We had, 
I need to adjust this just a tad. Um, we had, I think, a week and a half, two weeks of virtual because um, we had a little, not an outbreak, but we had a little bit of a um, increase in mostly adults in our building. Hi, Natisha. Um, and so we did have a couple of weeks, but we were actually in still at school. We were um, because we could have a certain percentage of people in our to be able to give those kids one on one attention. So that was good. But other than that, in person the whole time. And I have four weeks left. I'm on the countdown. Yeah. So, and it turned out good. I mean, it went well. Everything, you know, we didn't, we had mostly adults ended up with it. I never got it. Thank goodness. But anyway, I got up early today, did church. Church was awesome. I do um, elevation online and I do life church online and it just filled my soul. I needed my soul filled this morning. Um, just been on empty, been running on empty. Yes, ma'am. Erica, Erica's homeschooling. And so she is ready. She is as ready as I am for summer to come. Just to be able to take a deep breath would be great. I'm looking at my room. It looks so crazy on the camera because it almost gives it like a Fish eye kind of look like my walls are curved. It's tripping me out. All my jazz. I got new candles. Can you see them back there? And then up in the left hand corner, my mom got me a butterfly wind chime. So that's new. And right there, I went to Home Goods, got some cute little um, eyelash picture. And right there, it says, "Laugh as much as you breathe." My my secret palette school gave it to me. And right there, it says, "Glam office." Since this is my office, too, I thought, how cool is that? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started because there's so much to show. And then I'm going to let you guys uh, choose some of what I'm going to put on my eyes. And I'll do a eye look for you and put on some pretty lashes and all the jazz. Um, I decided not to use StreamYard this time because when I went back and watched my replays, they were so, like, pixelated and I, it just didn't look good. And so I thought, let me try um, just the regular YouTube live stream and see how it goes. Am I coming through clearly to you guys? Oh, and then right there with the brushes in it, Erica gave me that. And Erica made that beautiful Chanel picture right there. Everything that's up there has some me. My friend Dom Maurice, it's covered with lotion bottles. My friend Dom Maurice painted that picture for me. So there's lots of pretty things that are in here that mean something to me. Okay. Well, let's get started then. I'm glad I am coming through loud and clear. Okay. So I have been on a no buy, low buy kind of thing. Um, but that doesn't mean I didn't buy anything. And when the Ulta sale came, I had a bunch of points. I also had a budget. That's what's different now is that when the sales come, I don't go hog wild. I just, you know, keep it at bay. I had a uh, canceled BoxyCharm for a while, but then they kept saying Natasha Denona and it like, it drew me back in. It did. And so I am on back with BoxyCharm, but I am also giving myself add on budgets. And that's a different for me. I used to just go crazy. So let's get started. I will try to tell you where I got these things if I remember which is which. Hello, Lucy Howe. Mod you. Hmm. Well, let me think about it. Hmm. No, I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to start. My moderators do need to pay attention. Just. I know. I know. And I get paid on Tuesday. So I have a little budget for add ons this time. All right. The first one I'm going to show you is Ofra Highlighter. And my lights are blurring it out. There we go. It's in the new packaging. And this is just a um, 
backup for my favorite Ofra highlighter, which is Rodeo Drive. I have it in the old packaging and it's getting like, I haven't hit pan, but I'm real close to hitting pan. I hope it's right here. I just wore it the other day so I can show you how far I have gone in it. But of course it's not where I can get to it and I don't want to dig for two hours. But anyways, this is the new packaging. And so I have a new Rodeo drive. Um, I think the Becca closing kind of made me think, oh my goodness, I need to get a lot of the things that I love from these things that from these companies that are trying to close. And I'm not saying that that Oprah is closing. I'm just saying it made me think I want backups for. Just kidding. That was Elf. Good gravy, you guys. Just bear with me. I really wanted to show it to you, and I don't really want to stick my fingers in the brand new one whenever. But anyway, let me just do that. It's not like I'm not going to use it. So I want to show you the beautifulness of Rodeo Drive. Oof. I feel like I need to turn off my ring light. Am I right? Do I need to turn off my ring light? Are you guys seeing this okay? And I think it's my fault that Lisa has BoxyCharm again. Should I turn off my ring light, folks? Because I don't think this is really, I think the lights are blurring it completely out where you can't even see the color. Let me, let me know what you think. This is a champagne gold, but it has just a tiny tint of pink in it. Just a, just a smidge. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can turn my ring light out without knocking over everything you may hear. Let me move this for a minute. You may hear a big crash. Oh, good gravy. Hang on. I got to stand up. I'm shutting this because I'm not sure you're not going to see my backside. You're just going to have to hold on because I do not need anybody seeing that. Okay, ring light off. Backside sitting back down. And here I am. Okay, did that help any a little bit? And I didn't turn on um I didn't turn on my light back there because it it really generates heat. And my husband and I Sorry about it. Um, and it differs so much in body temperature that he's sitting in there with the fireplace on and I have the air conditioner on in here. That's how different we are. So, yeah, no pants. No pants. So you don't need to be seeing. Anyway, there's Rodeo Drive. Hopefully you can see it a little bit. It's beautiful. And I've got this box over here that I'm going to toss things into so that I can put it all away once I get finished. You guys do not understand how long this stuff has been in boxes. And I've just been waiting to do this. <laughs> and so, yeah, this boxy charm, I have not tried this before. It is Georgette Klinger vitamin C mask. And I thought it was interesting because it came in a pump. And I've never really had a mask come in a pump. So I don't really know if this is like a put it on, take it off kind of thing, or if it's a night mask or what. I've got to read a little bit more about it, but this came in my boxy charm. Let me promise you that you need to not see my backside. Let me just promise you that. It's something that you cannot unsee, therefore you do not need to see it. It would be rude. It would be rude. Next is, and I'm not going to take this out because I have like five powders open. And this is the cutest packaging ever of life. And this is by Beauty Bakery. And this is the flower setting powder. And look at, it's in like a little tiny, like a bakery bag. It even has like nutritional facts and stuff on it right here. How cute is that? And this is a really good powder. It's not, um, 
anything like heroic. It's just a regular setting powder. And I like it because it's just like a real neutral tone and it's real light. It does the job. It mattifies everything. And it's just a really good powder. And I'm not going to open it because like I said, this is a backup and I just finished one. And someday when I get my, you know, life together, which is probably never, I'm going to do an empties video because I have a ton of empties and I have a little jar of that, that I finished up. And that's why I got a backup. They are that whole, the whole aesthetic of beauty bakery, the whole idea that everything, you know, goes along with that. And speaking of that, let me just go ahead and talk about this because it's so stinking cute that I can't even stand it. Another beauty bakery product. And I didn't need this because I just bought a bunch of ALA sponges, but these were like I think three bucks or something on add-ons. How freaking cute is that? It says um, blending eggs and it's in this little carton. How flipping cute is that you guys? And see Erica just talked about it and then I picked it up and it was three bucks for six sponges and I used one today. They're really good sponges. They're real comparable to beauty blenders. Well, look at it. It's in a little egg carton. How freaking cute. Oh, they were $6. So I figured $1 per sponge, you know, I'm always going to have to replace the sponges eventually. And it comes with th three pink and three teal and they look like Easter eggs. How flipping cute is that? So, yeah, Erica's going to have to help me with the prices because once I pull the trigger on stuff, I don't remember. I just know that I was going to get some replacement sponges for less than what I was paying for the AOA sponges, and that was a good deal. So these are going to go in my drawer for whenever I have to replace them. But Beauty Bakery, they know what they're doing with the packaging and the whole um, the whole theme of their brand is just stinking cute. So cute. Okay, this is also what the the point I was making. I never finish a point ever, and you should pr you probably know that by now. But the point I was making about sales is when I'm on a low buy, I try to use sales to buy replacement or backups because um, either I'm about to be out, I use them daily and. I know I'm going to use the other ones up and I need some more. I know I'm going to buy them. So I might as well get them for half price. And so that's how I use the sales. I didn't buy anything at the Sephora sale. Um, I just don't see myself doing that, buying anything at the Sephora sale anymore, just because unless it's something I can't get it somewhere else and I have to have it because the point system isn't good. Um, everything is super expensive and even at 15 or 20% off, it's still super expensive. And so I just don't see myself doing much with Sephora. Um, but anyways, this is a replacement for a perfume. I have actually already finished two of these and I recently found it at Walmart for $25 when I had been paying like 54 at, uh, Ulta and at Kohl's. I bought one at Ulta and one at Kohl's and they were both $54, which is a pretty good price for a fragrance. But this one is, um, it doesn't have very much in it. It's a 1.7 fluid ounce. So it doesn't last very long. And it's kind of a, you know how really expensive fragrances are, stay for a long time. They stay on all day. Like you pull your clothes off and you can still smell them. This one is more of a, like a, an, um, what is it? Eau de Toilette where it's less fragrant oil. And so it really kind of needs to be re reapplied through the day. And it, I, I run out of it really fast, but anyway, this is called Eau de Juice Extra Concentrated. Um, I got a sample of roller balls with these and it, all four fragrances were really nice, but this one is really good. And if you're interested, I can look up the notes, but most of all, it's floral and fresh, which are, <laughs> which is almost all of the fragrances I have are almost always floral and fresh. Hi, mama. Mama's cooking pork chops. 
in applesauce. Now she's making pork chops and cabbage steaks and making a really good yummy dinner for my dad. Yeah. And it is. It looks like a little juice box. I have one back there. You probably can't see it that I'm working on right now. But um, it looks like a little gold juice box. Super cute. It's cob uh, slip oil and it's blue raspberry, but it smells like coconut to me. And I actually need some right now. But it is a really nice lip oil, and it came in BoxyCharm. Have you guys ever made cabbage steaks where, all, I mean, literally all you do is just take a head of cabbage. Mm, this is nice. A head of cabbage and slice it into, like, thick steaks. <laughs> and I saw Hello, Mrs. Ward. I thought that was one of my students. You put them on a sheet pan, drizzle them with olive oil, and like crush a clove of garlic and just rub it on it. And then put some salt and pepper and bake them in the oven. And dude, it's delicious. It's delicious. And this lip oil is delicious too. It smells so good. And it feels really nice. It's not sticky. Okay, this is really a, this was an impulse buy, and it's just all about how beautiful it is. It is so pretty that I don't even think I'm going to use it. I think I'm just going to put it um, on my vanity back there where you can see how pretty it is. Um, I bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes. It's delicious. And basically, look in there, and whenever you're seeing the tops brown a little bit, another really good way to make sure that the olive oil is distributed well is if you have a basting brush or like a brush that you brush on meat when you're grilling, when you the like a brush that you brush on barbecue sauce with. That's a really good way to get the oil on there. But literally, you just have to rub a clo clove of garlic on there, and it gives the most delicious garlic flavor. But whenever it starts to brown on top, that's when it's done. I'm one of these people that I can I start off with the recipe, but I never stick with it. I always zhuzh it up my own way. I always put my, my sherry spin on it. So anyways, this is a mini teardrop brush, and it is so stinking pretty. And it's packaged in, like, this is satin. It's so pretty. And I think I'm just going to set it back there because it's beautiful. And I don't think I'll ever use it. But I, I fell for it because it's so pretty. Look at it. This is rose gold. And it, the way it's used is really cool. It's just like, shh, shh, with foundation. And it's really um, dense. It's like one of those artiste brushes that's what it feels like it's super soft but it's really dense and I think it would be a really good foundation brush but I just don't I mean it is kind of already brown right there so maybe I could use it without making it look all corrupted but it's so pretty and it says Eloise right here it's it is just so pretty and I cannot remember how much I paid for it but it was on BoxyCharm add-ons or pop-up or something it would I think it was $12 that's what my brain is telling me that doesn't mean that's what it is but it's so pretty and the way it's presented is so pretty it didn't come in my boxy I bought it on add-ons so it's beautiful okay so Becca is closing and I did go on to the Ulta sale trying to get two of my favorite favorites, which are Moonstone and Opal. And I fell asleep and didn't get there in time and Opal was sold out. So I was like, and I do have a little bitty, look at me, I'll be trying to find it again and I won't be able to find it. So I'm just not even, I'm just going, not even going to try to look for it. Um, I couldn't get Opal, but I did get Moonstone, but they had another one that I had never seen before, and it ends up that it is totally my cup of tea, but this one is Moonstone. If I can get it open, it would be great. You guys ever, like, struggle to get something open, and then whenever you finally do get it open, you end up, like, and, and I am going to start singing every time my husband starts coughing. He's having allergy 
you know what right now and um, I'm trying to put it where you can actually see the color anyways every time my husband starts to cough up a lung I'm gonna start singing some kind of worship song anyways this is a beautiful soft gold really beautiful moonstone Let's see. We'll put it next to Rodeo Drive and see if it's much lighter. Rodeo Drive is a lot peachier. This is a lot more golden. So beautiful. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, I cannot not replace my Becca highlighters knowing that they're never going to. But why? Like, why? It seems to me like Becca is a really popular brand. I, I'm always drawn to buy their stuff. I don't understand why, why they're going out of business. Aye. So for those of you who just got here, I've been, my hair is wet. And I had somebody tell me one time that it was, and I think it was actually, I don't know who it was. Someone told me that I was probably being racially insensitive by calling my hair an Afro, but you guys, it is, it's all, it is an Afro. It's very Afro ish. So sorry, I don't want to offend anybody, but my hair is very Afro ish. Okay. Chocolate. Geo, that sounds pretty. Topaz, I haven't seen those. But anyways, the new one that I got is Rose Quartz. And mm, this is my precious. My precious. It is so pretty. I cannot believe I never knew about it. Hi, Christy. I didn't see you come in. My precious, this is so gorgeous, you guys. It's it's comparable to my favorite highlighter of all time is um, Makeup Geek Starlight. It looks really similar to that. And, oh, it is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. I wish that on camera you could really see how pretty this stuff is. I'm trying to turn my finger to let you catch a hint of what the color really looks like. But with highlighters, it's just not going to happen, is it? Anyway, it's right there. <laughs> you can't even see it. The lights are just drowning it out. Let me, no, I'm not. Every time I mess around with my lighting and tell A-L-E-X-A to do something, I end up, like, turning off my whole computer and stuff, and we don't want to do that. And Christy is in my in my e-group. My I call it a life group. She's in my e-group, which is the Elevation. Ooh, there weren't my glasses. Elevation um, small groups, and she's awesome, and I'm happy she's here. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about, I'm going to go um, over, I have a new eye, uh, false eyelash. Yeah, it is very rosy. Um, a false eyelash subscription called Lash Scoop, and it's by the people that used to do the Tribe Box, or maybe still do the Tribe Box. And I think I've shown you some of these, but I have a new one. So I'm going to go real quick through these and just show you all the new lashes that I have. And I ordered the the glam version because I wanted to get eyelashes that I would probably never buy myself. And hi, Jen. Jen is Elvira queen of makeup. That's Jen. Hi, Jen. Good to see you. All right. This one is called tease. Yay. At least you can see the eyelashes. I love that because it's tapered on the inner corner and really big on the outer corner, really flared out. And then this one is called Lust. Remember, we had this big conversation about how last time I was on live that we didn't understand why they had to name all these um, 
eyelashes and beauty products with sexual connotation. It just doesn't make sense to me. But I wore these in the last one, XOXO. You guys chose them. And then we have, these are really interesting. These are called Stellar. How cool are those? The way that they're like gathered together into like little tufts. I just, I'm curious to see how those are going to look over natural eyelashes. Aren't those cool? I think I would be a good eyelash designer because I have lots of ideas about eyelashes. These are ginormous. These are called Pleasure. Here we go again. They are long. I bet you those would, these are what you call the fly to Jesus lashes. My Marlo would say, I saw Marlo very briefly last night in uh, Monique's live, and I need to call her. She's not feeling well. So you guys say a prayer for her. Oh, I also need to say, even though she's not watching, it is my sister-in-law Susan's birthday today. So happy birthday, Susan, if you would happen to see this. Next is full moon. These are a little bit more tame. I think those are pretty too, though. But do you see how these are all long fly to Jesus lashes? I really like these and I'm disappointed because there's a little spot. I hope I can comb it out, but there's like a little spot where there's like part of the, there's like a little blank space. So tell me if you guys can see that. These are called Angel. But can you see in this one right there, there's like a big spot with lashes missing. Like, really? There's no way that, I don't think there's any way you could wear these without you seeing that there was a big void right there. So boo, because I really like that style. And then this one is called Dream Make Dream Maker. Those are really pretty. I think even though they're really long, I think those would be good ones to wear if you have a really fancy eye look that you don't want to be completely covered up, but you still want dramatic lashes. And this is like this is five pairs of lashes for twelve bucks, twelve ish, twelve and change. Um, and yeah, I really think it's a pretty cool, I'm going to have to take these out because they're covered up. This is called Kiss Me. And I think I showed you these before because a song instantly comes to mind. And I think I sang it last time. But anyway, I'm going to take them out because I think I put them in backwards. That's what happened. But anyway, these are called Kiss Me. Let me move them over where you can actually see. Aren't those pretty, though? I like those. The other thing is I have to always really trim them. So if there's something really fancy going on on the outer corner, sometimes the fact that I have to trim them so much kind of interrupts what I'm going for sometimes. But I like those a lot. And last, these are super cool, too. These are called Nova. My stepdaughter's sister's daughter's name is Nova. Aren't those cool? But don't you see if I would cut off, like, the last two sections, how it would interrupt what they're trying to do with this lash? That's the only thing I think I... I probably have a gripe with with these is that they're so long that I can't always get the effect because I have to cut so much of them off. Okay, I'm going to go through palettes. Oh, my goodness. See, whenever you you have things in boxes, it doesn't seem like very much. But then when you put it all in one place, it looks like a lot. Kiss me. Beneath the something, something. My husband was coughing. I'm all saying every time. 
Okay, I'm going to real quick go through these things and then I'll go I'll go through the I'm going to save the palettes for last. I'm going to go through all these little things. Okay, I got a backup for my professional. It's like 32 bucks or something. And I got it on add on for I think six. So it makes no sense to pay 30 something when you can pay six. So this is just a backup for my professional. I use it almost every day. I got these in Boxy Charm. These are Manicadar. 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 <laughs> there goes Erica. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. So more than half price. Anyways, this is called Pluck It Two Piece Tweezers. It's a set of tweezers. One with a slanted. And one with a like a very pointy. And you can't tell. One of them's white and one of them's kind of a blush color. And that's good. I can always use tweezers because I can never find them. But I still think my e.l.f. $1 tweezers are like the best. I use them more than I use any other kind. Okay, I got, I'm going to use this today too. And this is a dragon something. I took, yeah, dragon lash. Um, I got this in BoxyCharm. And I'm excited about it because it is a tubing mascara. And I'm glad you have a better memory than me, girl. Because, yeah. You know I don't. Anyways, it's a tubing mascara. And I decided not to buy a replacement for my Thrive Cosmetics Lash Extensions, whatever it is. It's the most awesome uh, mascara of all time because I have a whole bunch of mascaras I need to get through. But I do miss the 2B mascara, so I'm hoping that this one will be similar. And it does have a really nice wand. It's an interesting wand. Um, it's kind of flat on one side and then rounded on the other. It's interesting. So I'm going to use this today. We'll see if it turns out well. Okay, are you ready for a mini rant? I fell for the uh, Il Maquillage, the ad for Il Maquillage. I fell for it. I did. And I can't even show it to you because guess what? Guess what? Uh, I didn't like it. You know how they have that quiz that it's supposed to get your perfect shade? Uh, no. And you know how they show the people and they have all this acne and they start putting it on there like, oh, it's completely covered. Like, oh, it's my per my perfect shade. Oh my gosh, how do they do this? Uh, no, not my shade. Didn't cover up Jack Doo Doo. Okay, didn't cover up anything. I had to put on like three layers for it to look like I even had foundation on. And when they, when I took the quiz, I said full coverage. So, uh, no. Talk about rude, rude. Tell me I'm going to get my perfect shade. Tell me it's going to cover all this stuff. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Well, I am so glad that you liked it. I'm so glad that somebody did because I was so dissatisfied. And they gave me here. But let me go on to tell you that I have great respect for the company. They have already sent me a $50 gift card to replace it, to try a different shade, a different formula. Um, I just haven't done it yet. It's like such a pain in the tush to have to go drop something off at FedEx. Like, I know that sounds so petty, but I am so stinking busy, you guys, that that having to add one more thing to my list of Sherry Do's is just too much. And right now it's too much. I don't want one more thing on my Sherry Do list. I just I just do not. Um, I did not like the concealer. The color was wrong. It did not cover up anything. I didn't like any of it. Okay, but I did get a free, um, they sent a free gift, which is a, an eyeliner. Um, I'm actually not going to use it because I know that I love a brush tip. And this is one of those really, I don't mind these. These are probably my second favorite. It's got the long, flexible, 
foam, I guess, is the best way to. And so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to give it away. Um, because it's probably really good. But I'm not going to use it because I know I prefer a brush tip. And I'm not going to waste it by just, you know, putting it on for no reason. Just to say I like the brush tip better, which I always do. So I doubt, I don't see myself trying something else. I might if there's not an expiration date and it's later in the summer and I have time, I might try it again. What I intended to do was do a live and show it to you and get opinions and all the jazz. But yeah, I didn't do that. So yeah. Okay. Next is a clear brow gel by Hold and Control. I guess that's the brand. No, it's by Billion Dollar Brows. I don't use clear brow gel. I use a tinted brow gel. So I'm not even going to open this because I know I'm not going to use it. So I'm also going to give this away. So that came from BoxyCharm. I'm trying to pick up all the littles that are clouding up my area. Oh, at the Ultra Cell, I did Ultra. Ulta, I'm reading Ultra on here. At the Ulta Cell, I decided to try. Welcome back, Lisa. The creamy version of the uh, Tarte, yeah, it is Shape Tape, ultra creamy because I had been finding that the Shape Tape was starting to get kind of dry and crusty on me. <laughs> yeah, I just don't use a, I'm sure it's perfectly fine, but I just don't use um clear brow gel so anyways i got the ultra creamy and i like it it is really good coverage still but it's just less dry um i did get my regular color and this is a little bit lighter so it might be something that you would want to to swatch in store because even though i got my regular color this is much lighter so the the colors don't exactly match up as far as what you would use in shape tape. I use light, medium, honey. And this doesn't, I mean, I don't think the colors match up and I don't know that you can even see the difference. Probably not because of lights, but maybe there you can see this one is much deeper than this one. And this is the shape tape. So I still like it. I'm still going to use it. I just, use a different uh more skin tone one first and then i use that as you can see it didn't do much for my dark circles today because yeah there just is no help for my dark circles because yeah i i deal with chronic illness i deal with lack of sleep a lot of the time and so therefore i have dark circles all the time um i did get one of these uh, my friend Erica said she's going to send me one for my birthday, but I use one of these a month for my brushes and for my, um, my sponges. And this is just like a cake of soap for brushes and sponges. And I've not seen one that's like, this looks kind of clear, like the old Neutrogena soap used to be, but it comes in this little tin it has a little shred a little scrubby right there and erica the price master was this three bucks i think this was three bucks and yeah i would go up a shade in the creamy version um because it's it's much lighter but anyways i got a couple of these because i used them up like crazy and i think they were three bucks and i had been paying like twelve dollars i think for the Sephora brand and I had also gotten some of the Beauty Blender brand on sale and so I used that for a long time. I just use whatever I can get on sale. There used to be a really good one by the Walmart brand Equate. I don't know why they stopped having it and they have a brush cleaner in a tube and it stinks. It don't work. If you have to wash a brush like six times to get all the makeup out, then the, the cleanser's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to break it down, right? All right. Moving on. Oh, see, like I said, it ends up being so much. I did a Shop Miss A haul a while back, a, quite a while back, and I tried to do 
a full face of shop masse stuff and I wasn't a big fan of most of their makeup, but I do like a lot of their brushes and I ordered some stuff for birthday presents for Lisa and Erica from shop Miss A. And whenever I did that, I saw this pink and I forgot to show them this because it was somewhere else. They've probably seen all these things because we, we talk to each other on Marco Polo and I show them every time I get up, I get something and they do the same thing. Anyways, this was, part of that haul and I got drawn in by the pink. You guys know I get drawn in by pink. Anyways, it's a it's a little container which I love these anyway, but it also came with a with a bunch of brushes and they're all pink. So you know. And I haven't used them at all because when I want to do a haul, I don't want to use them until I do the haul. What do you think of it, Erica? I think it's pretty. It's so pretty. I don't want to mess it up, but I thought maybe I would I would use some of these today. I have several of the AOA brand that I love. The ones that look like this from AOA. Let me find one. That are duo fiber. I love their duo fiber brushes. This isn't one. This is a um this is Morphe. And I know people are like, some people hate Morphe, but I love Morphe brushes. I'm not a big fan of their makeup anymore, but I love their brushes and I love their mist, setting mist. Love it. And that's another thing I wait. Uh, on Ultacell, this time they didn't, but they have quite a few times had that Morphe um, spray on half price. And that's why. That's when I buy it. It's too expensive and it doesn't last long enough. Um, oh, fuzz and frizz. Fuzz and frizz. But anyways, I, I like a lot of the AOA brushes. So we'll use some of these today. I'm trying to set aside this I want to use. Um, okay, moving on. I got two... It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This is like my holy grail moisturizer. I've used it for years. I continue to use it. They have a night cream now. Can't even get it to show. I have a night cream, or they have a night cream now. I don't have it. I have so many night. Um, la, la, la. I have so many night creams <laughs> that I haven't used yet that I can't go for that yet. But someday when I use up all my night masks and night creams, I'm going to um, I'm going to try their night cream. But I love this. It's super. It's super emollient and very. It's kind of thick and heavy. Let me get the one that I'm working on here. And it has a light. I'm about to finish this one. It has a light lemony smell which I like light. This is the consistency. It's pretty thick. I mean, you can see it's not watery at all and it's just so nice and it's, it's good for summer and winter for me. Um, even though I'd like to use something a little bit heavier at nighttime, that's what the night masks are for the sleeping masks. But anybody who uses professional knows that if you, um, end up, trying to put professional over moisturizer sometimes it balls up if you don't let your moisturizer sink in well sometimes in the morning when you're getting ready you don't have time to let it sink in and so I love this because the professional does not ball up on it no matter how long I've given it to sink in so these are like I'm gonna get the price wrong I want to say $47 something like that and to get it for half price, I always get to, I usually will pick up one for my mom if she wants it. Yeah, secret sauce is good. I'm, I'm, I don't know why I have to show things. It's not like you're not going to believe me. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Um, I got a couple of these. I think when I was still doing Ipsy, they had add-ons with the secret sauce. And I have, I'm working on one of those. That's what I'm talking about. I can't open and I can't justify 
buying any more moisturizers because I am working 48. Yeah, super expensive. Um, so I always buy them half price and I get two for one and that makes me happy. And I get a good moisturizer. And so I hear a wheelchair. Are you outside my door? Okay. The bathroom is right next door to this room. And so I can hear his wheelchair come in and I'm always like, are you outside my door? Cause he doesn't want to talk cause he doesn't want to interrupt my life. Okay. So, and it, and I, and I interrupt my own self. Okay. Purity made simple. Um, this is by philosophy. This is a really good face wash. Some people can't stand the smell of it. It doesn't bother me. Um, I love it. I bought two liters of this at a Nord Nordstrom sale like three years ago, and I'm working on the second liter now, but I like to have one of these smaller ones on my sink. And so I take the liter and I fill these up, um, but I'm about to be out of the liter. So I got one to put on my sink and I got one to put on in my shower because this is, even though I'm trying to make it through quite a few of, I have a bunch of uh, face wash stuff too. I'm trying to make it through a bunch of that stuff. So I won't be opening these right away, but I really love this face wash. It gets the makeup off. It does strip all the moisture out of your skin. And I just really like it. I really like it. And Erica, I think I've decided that I'm picking up the mirror night cream too, even though I don't need it, but I don't, hmm, I don't think I'm really going to do much. And we're talking about the choice items for BoxyCharm tomorrow, which one of them is a tart, like a illuminating stick or something. It's like a liquid illuminator, which I don't do well with liquid anything or cream blushes, highlighters. Like I'm just not that talented. I'm just not. It messes up my foundation and I just don't want to deal with it. I, I am trying to simplify my life. Glow wand. Erica is getting an MVP award for the day. Dun, 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 dun. Today is MVP. It's Erica Mullins. Everybody give her a hand. I love that girl. Anyway, she um, is, is giving us all the information that my brain can't retain, um, a glow wand. And we were both talking about how we didn't know if we were going to get one or the other and the glow wand. I just don't think, I think I would try it and think, Ooh, that's neat and probably be done. Um, that's, that's what I do with cream and liquid products. I just try them and then I'm like, eh, mess up my foundation. Uh, done. <laughs> and so, um, Anyways, I'm, I'm going to go for the Murad. I, I have been using the Murad hydrating toner, and I have been using the Murad uh, Hydro, seriously, guys, Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture, the names. I've been using both of these, and this is the first time I've used um, Murad that it wasn't a sample. And I've been using it like probably a couple months. I love both of these. I have become a Murad fan. Now I want to try it all. So whenever I see something Murad on BoxyCharm for discount or for choice, I think I'm going to go for it just because I know I like it. Um, here's another product that I cannot justify buying because I need no more moisturizer ever in, in all of life. I'm never going to get through them all if I keep doing this. So that's Sherry. Well, I'm glad you like it. I love it. And I hope that it's a, I hope it is a, uh, add on or pop up item eventually. So I can get a backup or get a replacement. Cause I'm, I'm not long from finishing this and I don't want to be without it, but I don't want to pay full price for it either. But anyway, this is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. How cutesy is this? It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. You can't see anything. I'm so sorry. Maybe closer is better. Uh, anyway, it's pale yellow. It smells like bananas. Are you kidding me? How could you not? 
Like, how could you not? I'm not going to. Oh, it smells like banana Laffy Taffy. Anyway, it's lovely. It's a very light moisturizer. And I think that what I'll do with this is use this, in, especially in the summer when it's hot. And I don't want such a heavy moisturizer as my, um, my confidence in a cream. I think that'll be like when I just want to, when I'm not going to put makeup on and I just want to wash my face and have some nice moisture, I think I'll use it for that. But you guys, I showing you all these products makes me feel like it doesn't even look like I was on a low buy, but you guys. This is like major restraint. And I know that's hard to believe, but a lot of, you know, a lot of these did come in, in my boxy charm and blah, blah, blah. Excuses, 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 excuses. But I would say all of that to say, I have reduced my spending for makeup so much that I have paid off my furniture. I have paid off two small credit cards. And I'm about to, it will take me two months to pay off the next one. But in after May, no, after, yeah, after May's payment, I will have three credit cards paid off. So I am really doing good. I am not spending money. I'm saving money and I'm paying off all these little piddly things that don't seem like a lot. But when you add them together, they are a lot. So I'm paying stuff off. I was about to pay my dentist off, but I think they're getting ready to slap me with another $300 charge. I have to go talk to them because I don't understand what it's for. You guys ever have the situation where you go and you have a service and they give you an estimate and you pay your part and then your insurance pays your part. And then on occasion, you'll have, you know, 25 extra dollars or 15 extra dollars that the insurance doesn't pay that you owe on your account after the fact. Well, I got billed for $320. And, and my question is, why? When I've already paid you $600, why was the estimate so off that I still owe 300 Because at that point, here's my thing. At that point, whenever somebody gives you an estimate, you base whether you're going to take that, get that service done based on can you afford the estimate, which was, $650. Okay. So, um, how, how is it that it could be $300 more? I, maybe I wouldn't have made that decision if I knew it was going to be $900 instead of $600. Like, don't you think they should give you the option based on what the real amount's going to be, not what they're going to tack on at the end? Um, my dad had a similar situation with this dentist. I've been going to them for years. I've never had an issue, but my dad pays cash for everything. And he was getting some dental work done and they gave him a quote and it ended up being thousand dollars, thousands of dollars more than what their estimate was. And I'm like, are they cheating people? Like, are they trying to get over on people? Because if that's the kind of, I don't want to deal with a business that does that. You know, with my dad, I just thought, well, maybe it ended up being more expensive than they anticipated or they found more problems because it was a complicated thing they were doing in his mouth. But it's like if they don't have a good reason for why that was so much over what the estimate was like, I feel like I, I, I have to tap out, I think. Um, they found a new dentist that they really love. And so I have a different option. But if they don't have a good reason for why it's $320 more, especially when nothing else was done, I got this as a bridge right here. I had to have this tooth pull. And this is a three tooth bridge. I have a tooth in between where um, and it was the estimate was like $650. And that's what I paid anyway. You guys don't need to hear about my my issues, but I just uh, you know how you get that hitch in your spirit. You just get your, that hitch in your spirit like mm, that doesn't feel right. Mm, that doesn't sound right. And when my spirit tells me that something isn't right, it's it's 99 percent of the time. It's because something isn't right. Yeah. And thank you, Christy. I, I can I can never 
claim that I have not been excessive and do not continue to be excessive at times because makeup is totally an addiction, obviously for me. Um, but I also realized that, you know, I have enough and I don't need to be super greedy. And the reason I even re, um, the reason that I went back to BoxyCharm is because I wanted the option. I love to buy people stuff. I love to give really good gifts, really good Christmas, really good birthday. Like I like to, to spoil people. It's like the, it makes me so happy to know that somebody would enjoy something and I can provide that for them. I love that. That's my joy in life. And so that's the reason why I went back to um, BoxyCharm is because gosh, if I can get people really cool stuff for a really good price, I don't want to pass up that opportunity. So there's that. All of that to say, I'm an imperfect human being and I am trying my very best to do better and I have done better. And the majority of the things that I have bought are on sale or in a you know box service where I can get things very much discounted. So speaking of discounted this is lisa's fault so everybody this is lisa's fault blame lisa um she told me about these handcrafted japanese brushes and i think it's refer or refer i have no idea how to say this refer refer um anyway she told me they have this concept store where they let people try their new designs and give feedback. And it's at, I think, half price or something like that. Very much discounted. And so she asked me to um, order some of these. And I did. And she got three brushes and I ended up getting six. Um, some of these I haven't used yet. The reason I was super interested in these brushes is because they remind me of Van Gogh's. Okay, let me show you my Van Gogh's brushes, which are my, you know, I would hurt somebody over my Van Gogh's brushes, but it just reminded me what they were made out of, the, the goat hair. I love natural hair brushes, and it just really reminded me of the Van Gogh's brushes. And so, Anyways, they had an eye set, which I don't know which one came with what set. I bought two different sets. I haven't used this one yet. I was going to use this for a cut crease because this was a good, and I haven't done a cut crease, but this looked like a good, oh my gosh, girlfriend. Anyway, we're not going to talk about how we can't control ourselves. But anyways, these are interesting. I really liked this one. I There's another one that. I need to pull out. Um, where is it? Oh, this one. I uh, love this one. So I have, and I did go back and give them all the feedback. And once you go back and give them all the feedback, they give you a store-wide 40% off. And these are expensive brushes. They're expensive. Um, but anyways, I like them. I have... This one that I haven't tried yet, I don't really know what in the world I would do with this one other than maybe lower lash line if I wanted to really get up close. I don't know if I can even show you this because it's so freaking tiny. Can you guys even see what this is? This is the brush part right there. I don't know other than getting super tight up to the lash line. Like if I wanted a dark color super tight then maybe that would work. I don't really know what else I would do with that. And I don't know if Lisa got this one or not, but this one is, I don't know about that. I don't know what to do with that really. And I'm thinking maybe eventually, but this is like the perfect outer corner. Get in there in the in, to get your like mid-tone color in the crease. Oh, it's perfect and I love it. Yeah, and this is number zero one. And... Um, Anyways, and I got this one, which I think is probably a good blush brush. I don't know. I haven't used it yet. My only gripe with these brushes is, you know how everybody always says, oh, they're so soft. And like everybody's going for so soft, right? Um, sometimes they're too soft. Like 
this one, some of these, are, they're just too soft. Like it, it doesn't have enough grip. And I thought that about this one, but then as I broke it in a little bit, I liked it better. But I would like this just to be a, just a smidge more firm because when I'm on my outer corner, I want a little bit of grip. I don't know if that makes sense to people. And that's why I love Morphe brushes because they're not so soft. And I've heard people say that like it was scratchy on their eye and that doesn't bother me. I want it getting in there and getting that stuff blended out. And that's why I like the Morphe brushes. And I would say that about the Wang Goss brushes are a little bit, just a smidge um, stiffer. So anyways, I still really like the brushes. I'm glad that I have them. And I don't see myself ever spending a lot more money on them unless I saw a size that I just thought or a size or shape that I just thought was going to meet a need for me. And it's not because I don't think they're good brushes. It's just because I don't think I need, I don't need any more. Lord have mercy. I don't need any more brushes. You guys, these are just the brushes that I keep on my vanity. Okay. These are just the brushes I keep on my vanity. I have probably at least five times more than this. And I'm not bragging. I'm telling you, I have a problem. I need a 12 step program for the brushes. So there's that. It, did, it didn't take a lot to, uh, talk me into buying more brushes. I'll just put it that way. Okay, we are coming to the end and we're getting to the part, uh, we're getting to the, the palette part, which is my favorite. Um, I did get the Icy Sherbert Primer from um, Pretty Filter, Icy Sherbert Primer from uh, Touch and Soul in my BoxyCharm. And that's so pretty, it's quite pretty. And it smells I told Erica when we were talking about it, it smells a little bit rosy, but also a little bit fruity. Mm -hmm. it smells really good. And it's a really interesting texture. It's almost like a gel, but also kind of waxy. I don't know if you can see it there or not. It's right here on this edge. But when you put it on, it, it almost just like immediately dissolves. Have you tried it yet, Tanya? It, mm, it smells good, but it just get, it is a little tacky, but it sinks right in, and it's just like an extra added um, layer of moisture. I like it. I like the No, no Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. I re, I did not like that oily one that they had. It was weird. Did you guys ever try that oily one? Like when it came out, it felt like baby oil. I was like, I don't even want to put this on my face. Have you guys tried that one? I didn't like it, but everything else I've really liked um, from Touch and Soul. Once I get a, a product from a brand that I like, I find myself wanting to try all of them. Oh my goodness, my hair. And when I take it down, it's not going to be any better. I'm just going to leave it just like this. I am. Okay, palettes. This one came in my BoxyCharm Venus 3. And I was excited about it because I have a lot of the Venus. And Venuses are pinky. They are pinky. Yes. And look closely because I'm going to be using one of these. Hi, Erlene. I'm going to be using one of these. Welcome to our live stream. We're going over a little bit of a haul. I'm going to use one of these. So make sure you're looking or several of these. Make sure you're looking close because you guys get to decide what I'm using. I forgot to show you rose water setting spray. I'm not going to use this just yet because I'm working my way through some setting sprays. I, I don't know. Did any of you get this? The smell of this is super strong. I don't know if I can deal with it. It's going to be one of those ones that I have to spray on and see if that smell stays on my face all day. Whew. Have you guys tried that um, boss face or boss lady something by uh, Huda? It's, it is like 
plasters your makeup to your face where it will never leave for the rest of life. It has this super strong, um, super strong floral scent that's it's obscene. It's very, it, I was offended by it. Maybe I should try this today just to see so I can let you guys know what the smell is like. And then if I hate it, it's a spray. It's not contaminated. I can give it to somebody else. We'll try that today. Okay, back to the palettes. This one I bought at the Ulta sale. This is the Naba Cutie Palette in Platinum. And the reason I bought it is because of that silver that you can see I swatched. I actually used it. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to. It's called um, Luxuriance. Oh, oh, look at it. Look at it. This is Lisa's fault, too, just so you know. Look at it. Oh, it is like my favorite silver of all time is called Cyborg, and it's in the Sultry Palette by ABH. This is a, this is kind of a, it, it might be given Cyborg a run for its money. This is Cyborg right here. And Cyborg is so interesting because it almost has a lavender tint to it. It's hard to explain. It's got a little bit of purple in it. But, or pink. It's different. But, ooh, it's my favorite. So, see how it's got kind of pink you can't even see. I wish you could see this. It's got a little bit of pink in it or a little bit of lavender. And the silver in the Luxuriance is just straight up silver. They are beautiful. And I am in love with that shade. I don't even have to have the other ones. I just wish you could see. There, that's a good... A good shot so beautiful anyways and I'm a big fan of Naba I have the poison garden I think is what it's called and then there's another one I have I can't remember it's so funny that now that I put that next to the authentic silver it looks straight pink even though to me on my eye it looks straight silver oh okay I just knocked some stuff off Rude. I think I hear a lawnmower, which would mean my neighbor's going to mow. It is inevitable. Get used to it because no matter what I do in the summertime, my neighbors mow while I am doing a live. <laughs> okay, Christy, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. It's fun to have you here. And I am a good question answer or, or, or most of the time when it comes to makeup just be prepared because once I start talking about makeup I just keep going 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 love you girl have a great day this is the cutie palette from Nabla the uh wild berry all of a sudden I can see the colors how groovy And this is just, it's really got two colors that are interesting, especially this one. I love this one. I love this one. I'll swatch them for you. Let me get the silvers off. But this, and there's no way to show you, but this one is got, it's, it's got like a, it's pink, it's a duochrome, and one direction it's kind of white, and the other direction it's pink, but it's got like little bitty teal micro glitter in it, and I, there's no way, it's not going to show, but I'm going to try anyway. So that's called Alchemy 2.0, and the, the rusty, bricky color is called Botanic Juice. Alrighty then. Anyway, you can't even see the beautifulness of it. Well, maybe you can. Can you see right there how you can sort of see the teal micro glitter? So pretty. And that I did not even need to swatch that hard because it's okay. Here we go. 
This is so pretty. I love that color. And then this is probably not going to do any kind of justice, but we'll try. See, like right there, it's white. And right there, it's, well, right there, it's light pink. And right there, it's white. But it's got little, see those little teal micro glitters? It's just so interesting. And, you know, whenever you get, and, like, this is another thing. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. When you get the amount of eyeshadow that I have, the amount of palettes that I have, um, very infrequently do you come across a shade that you don't have in something already, okay? So when I'm shopping for um, eyeshadow palettes now, then I am shopping for something unique. I'm shopping for something that is unique to my collection that I don't have anything like it. That's what I'm shopping for now. Um, or a formula that I've never tried before. Um, so it was really fun for me to be able to try the Natasha Denona's because I hadn't tried them before. And um, Nabla, I already knew I love, but the point I was making is that Nabla has super interesting shimmers. And in all the palettes that I have from them, they have super interesting shimmers. And just things that you've never seen before. So I get really... I get really excited about Nabla because they almost always have something super neat that I've never seen before. Okay, as a gift for rejoining BoxyCharm, I got this Hip Dot because it was March and they were giving green palettes. And this is the Hip Dot Key. Synode, have no clue. Have no clue what that is. C note. But anyway, it's pretty. And then these are the colors. Ooh, really pretty. Nothing super unique that I haven't had before. I do very much like all the teals and turquoises and greens, though. This one is a little bit unique right here. It's called Sherry is Blind. That's what it's called. It's called... Tulum, and that's kind of unique too. Spirit, these two colors are kind of like denim blues, they're unique. Jungle's pretty too. Let me swatch. I'll swatch jungle. Ooh, spirit. Ay, ay, ay. I take all that back. I take all back what I just said, and Tulum. Look at those. Those are cool colors. Those are groovy colors, you guys. Those are pretty. I I am so sorry, uh, C-Note. Hey. <laughs> I'm so sorry, C-Note. I did see the peanut butter. Like, ah. okay, here comes another rant. I am over all the food stuff. I'm over the food stuff. I'm over it. It just never did much for me. And I know a lot of people love like Glam Light and all those pizza and hamburgers. And like it just doesn't do anything for me. And it nothing against anybody who loves that stuff. You do you. But it doesn't do anything for me. And so I don't need a Reese's Pieces palette. I just don't associate... eyeshadow with actual food as far as i'm willing to go go away my antivirus is trying to say something to me um i as far as i'm really willing to go it's like the peach palette or the chocolate bar palette like that that's cute they smell good but the food stuff just isn't it just enjoy the heck out of it girl but for me not my zhuzh Ooh, that's called jungle. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I lied. I didn't know I was lying, but I did. I was saying that these aren't, there's nothing special about these. Oh, that one's going to stain my eyeball. I can see it already. Isn't it funny how you can look now 
if you have a lot of experience. Oh, my God. That is like a freaking sapphire. That looks like a sapphire. Yeah, I, I apologize to Hip Dot. I had no idea. Dudes, this is navy blue with teal. Oh, my gosh. With teal glitter in it and it looks like a flipping sapphire it is so pretty <sighs> okay so i didn't know anything about hip dot this is my first hip dot palette i had no idea it's really good it's a really good formula it's beautiful i had no idea and see this is a problem and the reason this is a problem is because, and, and we'll talk about that other problem, the same problem with the upcoming palettes. Um, what did I say? Stain my hand. Um, whenever I haven't tried a brand and I try it for the first time and I really enjoyed it, then I want to try everything. And that's how I end up with the kind of collection that I have. Is it's like, okay, I love this. Okay, now I have to get all of their palettes. You know, that's where the excessive stuff comes in. I'm sorry, Lisa, you burnt your lunch. I am so happy that I cooked um, that I cooked meatloaf last night, a big honk of meatloaf, because now I can not have to cook, and I'm just going to make some um, mashed cauliflower that's frozen that comes out of the microwave and I don't have to do anything but stick it in the microwave and I'm good and I have lunches and all that jazz okay Natasha Denona this one came this is the Iona this one came in my boxy charm and I'm sorry to Erica who was heartbroken that she did not get this I'm sorry and I tried to tell her I would give it to her but she said no but I'm still not going to swatch it because I might talk her into it. But it's really pretty. It's just super neutral. There, this shade over, both of the shimmers are really beautiful, though. It's not that I wouldn't enjoy it. It's just that it's not that unique to my collection. But on the other side of it, it's Natasha Denona. And unfortunately, I have learned that I love Natasha Denona. And the only reason I know that I love Natasha Denona is because of this. This came in a boxy charm. And now I'm obsessed with Natasha Denona because of boxy charm. So, you know, the marketing thing that they do there that gets you to to buy stuff that you haven't ordinarily bought. Um, yeah, it works. It works. This is a new purchase. This is the eyeshadow palette number five. I got in add-ons for twelve dollars. And this, of course, is my zhuzh. It's all shimmers except for the turquoise blue, but this color is so gorgeous and. It's very unique to my collection. It's like an it's like an emerald green. I'm not swatching it. I haven't even messed with it yet, but I'm not swatching it. Because I just don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these. Some of these might end up as gifts. This one is mine. This one is mine. Yeah, that's the thing of the ion it's beautiful but i just don't know that i don't have shades like that already you know <laughs> hi monique thank you for coming hey we have lives everybody has lives but this is the coral palette and i am in love with this and i have not even touched it and i'm already in love with it it's just my zhuzh you guys know i love the warm i love the warm so I'm just going to, I'm going to swatch the whole thing for you. Let's see. The shade names are Sherry is Blind. Uh, ay, ay, ay. I can't see it. 
and my glasses fell down there. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. I don't know what they're called. This is called I don't know what they're called. Yeah, Erica bought me the cranberry for my birthday. My birthday's not till June, but Erica bought it for me. <laughs> she did, she did. So I'm excited about it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, -wee, look at that. Uh oh, I see Mary Moods and Makeup. Hey, Mary. I didn't realize she was here either. Sorry, guys. I got. All, I'm all into the Natasha Denonas. Okay, so there's that. Oh, when the color makes you make that noise, it's pretty. And this one, my hand's a little bit wet, so the mats aren't gonna aren't gonna show up very good. This is the one I was so interested in, and it's not showing. Oh, it's going to be one of those inner corner highlight things. Oh, you can't even see it, can you? There you can kind of, kind of, kind of see it. It's beautiful. Sorry that it's not showing up. I ran out of fingers, folks. You're going live again tonight, Monique? Uh-oh. Three times? Ooh. That's a lot wider than I expected it to be. Ooh. That is like a duochrome with peach and gold. And it's not showing at all. There we go. Peach and gold. Ooh. That's pretty. You know what I love about these five pan Natasha Denona palettes is that they're unique colors, and you think, like for me anyway, I always think when I'm looking at them, mm, I don't know, those don't really look like they go together or whatever, but when you start putting them on your eyes, they always go together, and it always looks so neat together, and it's like everything you need is right there. It's just, it's just not good that I love them, and that's part of the reason why I gave myself a budget for add-on because if there's a Natasha Denona palette in there that I don't have, I'm getting it. Yep. Okay, moving on. Two more things. This one's Erica's fault. I it wasn't even on my radar. I wasn't even trying to get this. I saw it. I didn't I wasn't even trying to get it. And then she showed it to me on Marco Polo. And yeah, there's this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And the noises she was making when she was swatching it, I was like, you need to stop it. Okay. This one's called Glow. The, the top three are creams. But they're this cool. I told you guys earlier I don't do creams. But it's this cool formula that it's like dry before you even, I don't even know how to explain it. Anyways, I'm trying to put these three fingers up. You can't even see how beautiful these things are. And meaning it's going to set. Ooh, that blush is something else. Holy cow. Woo. I'm going to. Yeah, they do no justice in this lighting situation. None. So those are the creams. And what's also cool is it has a little flap. So the powders don't get into the creams. That's another gripe I have with cream products is like the powder gets all in them and it gets all funky and weird. And I don't like that. Well, I will try to be there, Monique. I can tell you I'm going to have lunch and I'm going to take a nap after this. Okay, we got diamond powder. Ooh, and this is like very glittery. This would have to be like a New Year's Eve special occasion or I would use this on my eye before I would use it on my cheek. Yeah, very heavy, very luxury. This blush is called powder blush. <laughs> okay. It has no name. It's just powder blush. And then this is called Glow Extreme. 
So, you know, I'll swatch them, but they won't show up for anything. Highlighters just, but you can see how glittery that one is if I get real close. But I hadn't tried any Natasha Denona face cheek products, so. And it's pink. Enough said, right? Enough said. You guys know Sherry. Enough said. Okay. There's that. Okay, last. I'm finally done, you guys, and I'm going to do my eyes. We're going to be here for another half an hour at least, so hopefully you want to hang out. I'm putting my fuzzy afro back up because I can't stand to look at it. It does look pretty when I fix it, but I'm just not even worried about it. Hi, Dana. How are you? <laughs> just get a brush and cover the whole thing. Anyway, it's a beautiful palette. It feels like it weighs like a brick. So nice. Okay. Let me get these out of the way where they're not going to get knocked over. And finally, I saw this on an Emily Noel video. Nuff said there too, for anybody who knows Sherry, I love Emily Noel. And when she says something's good, I just believe her. And she was doing a a look with this naughty palette by BH. Well, this is a holiday. This is from their holiday collection. And um, yeah, I had no clue. And I think Lisa has been telling me for a while that BH has been stepping up their formula. But like I had so many not so great experiences with them. They just kind of had a bad taste in my mouth about BH. So I was really excited to watch um, Monique's uh, videos showing me all the travel palettes is like I'm really intrigued now because of this palette it has beautiful formula really good I kept telling Lisa I used it almost all week last week I was like this is a really good formula I love it and I love you and and you haven't been that MIA I have been MIA this is I think I skipped three weeks of my Sunday live and I felt really bad about it because I um, I just wasn't feeling good. And it, life has been hard. My husband's been in the hospital. It, it's, just, it's just been one thing after the other. And I just didn't have it in me. That's all there is to it. I just didn't have it in me. And whenever I don't have it in me, you don't want me here. You really don't. Okay, look at this. There are such neat colors in here, and it's like all in one. But like when I turn it, do you see all those groovy shimmers and how they have all these neat shifts? And there's so many cool colors in here. Like this one's called Ho Ho Ho. It's a periwinkle blue. It's so pretty. And I love this. This one was a little bit broken. I got this from Mercari. I think I got it for 20 bucks. Candied fruit, it's really cool. My cats must be fighting. I hear my husband clapping. <laughs> These are just, I made lots of, I put, I think I put them on Instagram and my story on Facebook or something. But it's so pretty. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate that. I've just really been in a bad way and it all kind of came to a head on Friday. It was such a challenging week and I just like when I got in the car with Becky on Friday, we do our grocery shopping on Friday. I was just like sitting there and she always says goofy things that just make me laugh. And she was saying things and I was just like sitting there staring. Like I just felt like I wasn't even alive. It's, it's, it sounds so like melodramatic, but I was so tired I was so emotionally and mentally and spiritually spent that I just, like, I couldn't even talk. I couldn't even laugh. I was just so, and so yesterday I, I did some stuff around the house, but I made myself relax. I made myself go to bed early on Friday. Like I got some rest and yesterday I just, you know, listened to a bunch of worship music and I, really tried to pray and tried to talk to God about how I was feeling and just, you know, vented, vented on, on Erica, God bless her. But it was just, you know, Friday was like, 
the epitome of every kind of terrible thing that can happen all happening at once and being so, so done and so over it that you just want, like, you just want, can this just be over? Like, can this just be over? Um, I sent out like SOS text to all my friends because I just needed some to know I had somebody in my corner. I was so struggling. And so um, I'm that person that doesn't like to show weakness. And I'm that person that doesn't like, I, I like to be on the positive side of things. I don't like to be a downer. I like to look for the silver lining in things. Um, and wow, like they're just, you know, there, it, it was just a hard week. And so anyways, I made everybody worry about me because I'm sitting in the car and I'm looking at this, uh, this tree and this tree is like this and it's all the leaves are gone. And there's this tiny little tuft of green leaves right in the middle. And I told Becky, I said, that tree looks like I feel like I feel like all this is dead and all that's left is this tiny little spark of life. Like there's just this little bit there. And that's God. That's the Holy Spirit in my heart that will not let me give up. That will not let me sit down. That will not let me stop trying. And I made everybody think I was like suicidal. And it's like I had all these people sending me um, messages like, are you okay? Like, try And I'm like, I so am okay. I just... It was just a really hard week. And in the residual of the week before, my husband being in the hospital and him out of town at the hospital. And, you know, when you add chronic pain on top of everything else, it just intensifies everything. And I don't know how to explain that to people who don't experience it, but also super bad pain. And so it was just like by the end of that day, I was just like, oh, my gosh, I just can't <laughs> like I just can't anymore. <laughs> and I'm not talking about oh, I'm going to off myself like that. Not that, you know, the kind of just like, can I just be done? I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. Can I just be done? And I just like, you know, when I got home and got everything unloaded and I just sat down and I was just like staring at, out into space because I was just so exhausted in my brain that, yeah. Hi, Becky. Poor Becky. She was like waiting for me to laugh. And I'm like, I know what you said is funny. <laughs> I just cannot. <laughs> Becky can to attest to it. I was just <laughs> burned out. Yeah. And you know what, Monique, it's like, this, it's like I said, I don't like to show weakness and I don't know where that comes from. Maybe it's me being my father's daughter, but I don't like to show weakness. But when I, when I do share vulnerability with people, it makes other people understand that they're not alone in their struggle. And I need to do it more often. Even if I don't like burying my soul to people, it's still going to be a blessing to someone else in that they're going to know that they're not the only one that's experiencing that. They're going to know that if Sherry can keep on trucking and get back up and keep a smile on her face and get up to fight another day, well, maybe so can I, you know, God doesn't bring anything into our lives that hasn't passed through his hands. And if I'm supposed to experience it, if he brings it into my life that I'm supposed to experience it. There's a lesson in it somewhere. And so I'm always trying to find what the lesson is. And sometimes the lesson isn't for you. Sometimes it's for somebody else and you don't even know it just by witnessing through your life. So anyways, like I said, if you're ever in that spot, you know, tell me, Sherry, I need to know somebody's in my corner and I will make sure that you know that, I'm in your corner. <laughs> okay. So now that I'm done with this haul and my mini sermon for the day and my public service announcement, um, is there any palette that you guys saw me share that you would like me to use? I'm probably not going to go super extravagant today because I've already kept you for an hour and 40 minutes. 
and I would like to finish up in the near future. I'm not going to go super crazy, but I'm going to do an eye look and I just want to know which one of these you, um, which one you would like to see. And poor Becky, her, um, her, her washer, her washer died this week. <laughs> so, you know, those are the kind of straws that break the camel's back sometimes. Like you already going through it. Becky's mom was in the hospital. Her brother that she hasn't seen for four years came, popped up just unannounced, you know, and then her, her washer, her washer dies. So it's just like me and Becky it is so our lives parallel. Like when something happens to the other, it's like we're waiting. My husband was in the hospital. Now her, her mom was in the hospital. I had this. Now she, she's like, Sherry, what? no, let's not. Right on, Monique. I've already prayed about it and claimed it. I claim the new job for you. And I am excited to hear about it. When you get it, you'll have to tell us that you got it. I'm excited for you to, to enter into a new chapter. It's exciting. Poor Becky. Becky, Lisa, and Erica all got the SOS text at the same time. I was like, somebody, somebody let me know they're there. Help me. I'm losing my mind. Somebody talk to me. Help. Help. <laughs> and I don't do that. Like, I will say, pray for me. If I send Erica or Lisa or Marlo or Becky a text that says, pray for me, it means I'm going through it and I need help. Like, pray for me right now. But on Friday, it was like I was sending Bitmoji like SOS, help, help. I'm in the quicksand. I can't get out. <laughs> right, Becky? And Becky's like, that looks like poop. I'm like, well, it kind of is poop. But it's supposed to look like quicksand. Oh, you know what, Monique? It is, it is super challenging when we have aging parents and we're watching our parents um, decline in some ways and and that transition from you being dependent on them and it starts to transition into them being dependent on you in a lot of ways it's it's not an easy transition and it was one that I never even thought about but we're there and it is easy to get frustrated um, because sometimes it's that one more thing that you have to do that you don't know if you have the energy to do. But then, you know, I bet you my mama didn't want to change one more diaper either. And I bet you my mama didn't want to deal with my smart mouth one more time either. And guess what? She did. <laughs> and so I'm very blessed and I will always take care of her. Absolutely. It's yours, girl. I'm not going to take any other answer. It's yours. <laughs> you definitely don't want to step into either. Right on. Yeah, it's been, oh, this year, just all of it. It's just been more than I can take. Well, Dana, anytime, girl. I can't promise you that I'm going to answer you within seconds, but I will answer you within hours. My life these days, whoo. You know, I, when I start listing all the thing, all my responsibilities, I understand why I'm about to lose my mind sometimes because it's a lot. It's a lot. So does anybody have a preference for what I'm going to put on my eyeballs? Because I really need to start. Does anybody? We have the hip dot, we have the Nobla Berry, we have the Nobla Platinum, we have the Venus 3, because I can yap and, I, and makeup at the same time. I got all three of these Natasha Denona's, but I don't think I'm going to swatch this one. I think I'm giving that one away. And I got the Naughty BH. So does anybody have a preference? Which Natasha? My eye is going to this. 
over and over again. Dana wants purple. Well, this is the purplest I have. I could combine these probably. <laughs> no pink. <laughs> I've been doing really good at not using all pink. I've been getting into some colors. The other day, I put baby blue on my whole entire eye. And I just put a big honking wing. It made me think of that day when I was doing that mustard yellow that I hated. And you're like, just put a wing and then you're done. I did that, but I did it with like this power blue, powder blue. So pretty. All right. We're going to use the Natasha Denona coral. And then I'm um, maybe toss in some of this purple for Dana. All right. Let me find my mirror and we're going to get started. Forgive me for all the messages that I'm going to miss. Oh my gosh. I am so crinkled. I am so crinkled under my eyes. You know what? I don't think I, I did not set. You guys want to, you can't even see. I didn't set my concealer. Oh Lord of mercy. I am looking at the scariness that is when I don't set my concealer. Oh my gosh, blue. I don't know. If, did I take pictures? I think I did take pictures. That they, oh my gosh, this is so not cute. Why did I, that is like the biggest step of necessity is to set my concealer. And I am so creased. It's not even funny. And I don't think I can save it. Hi, Sylvia. Ah, uh, it is so not cute. And when I go to take pictures, it's going to look scary. Maybe this creamy stuff can save the day. I got to do something because it, it, it ain't cute. It ain't cute. I'm using some Fix Plus to try to smooth it out a little bit. Because it is creased the house. Okay. How you doing today, Sylvia? How's it going? This might be a hot mess no matter what I do to it, but I'm going to set it this time. Probably because I was on the phone with my mama and trying to do that at the same time. And I lost my mirror. Where'd you go? Yeah. Uh, you guys can't even see the crepey creased business. I haven't even sprayed my face at all. But this is scary. It needs help. It's got to be fixed. It cannot be left that way. Because if I try to take pictures of my eye look and you see what's going on beneath my eyes, it's going to run everything. With your plants. Are you a gardener? Are you planting flowers or? <laughs> yeah, those cold. Um, I got some of those too. They should have been part of this haul, but they're in my refrigerator. Some of those glass globe things that you put in the uh, refrigerator. Oh, and they feel so lovely. I never realized how wonderful something super cold feels underneath your eyes. And I used it on the day that I mowed the grass. And I was like, like mowing the grass this time kicked my backside because I'm fat and I don't do well with heat. And I was hurting really bad that day and I had to do it anyway. And it was not pleasant. So I, when I came in from doing that, I clean, I took a shower and then I got those cold balls <laughs> out of the refrigerator. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't think this is going to be salvageable. My under eyes look like crepey sadness. Strawberries. Yeah. I love strawberries. Okay. Let me take a big old shot of caffeine. My daddy is a gardener and he 
plants tomatoes and squash and okra and zucchini. Like he keeps me in vegetables all summer. Yeah, definitely those glass bulbs, balls, whatever you want to call them. Okay. I have to use the palette that shall not be mentioned. Oh, by the uh, we just have to talk about it because there's some tea. Can you guys believe old dude, crazy uh, Jeffree Star got in a wreck and broke his back? As much as I, you know, really don't like the kind of yucky person that he can be, I still wouldn't wish for him to have his back broken. Good Lord. In a Rolls Royce. I don't really know all the details. Lisa's been telling me about it. I don't keep up on the. I don't keep up on the. Um, drama stuff much. But yeah, he got in a wreck and broke his back. Well, did he get sideswiped? Like I saw pictures of his car. Did he get sideswiped? I always like to put white uh, shadow under my eyebrow just to kind of carve that. I don't do the full on carving. I also have a wonky eyebrow. This eyebrow. Rude. Rude. I have a wonky eyebrow. We're not even going to talk about it. But I like to have the uh, white underneath my eyebrow. Yeah, wishing somebody death is the worst kind of thing. Like that, what kind of person does that make you? Even if you don't like him, even if he is an ugly, hateful person and says and does terrible things, okay? We all have established that he's not a good human being, okay? But even if in California they have black eyes, or was he in wherever that is, Michigan, Wisconsin, that he's staying? To wish death on somebody, even if they're a terrible person, I wouldn't wish death on somebody. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Oh, my gosh. And see, I have a heart for that anyway because I live in Oklahoma and we have ice storms and stuff all the time. And honestly, guys, I'm just going to play. I'm not even going to try to do anything fantastic. I'm going to do a crease shade. I'm going to do a deepening shade. And I'm going to do something with one of these funky um, shimmers. That is so scary. I mean, most of us who live in Oklahoma, and probably Lisa as well, because she lives up there where all the crazy snow and businesses. That is the scariest thing in the world to hit ice and know that you're not in control of your vehicle and you just kind of have to hang on and hope that you don't die. Jeffrey Star is who we're talking about. Um, but I, you know, regardless, I wouldn't wish death or harm like that to anybody, no matter what kind of not so good person they are. No, it's, it's ugly. So this is a beautiful coral color. I love this. This is really pretty. It's peachy. It's really peachy, but it has a pink undertone. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I have been having the most wackadoodle dreams of life. And I tell Lisa about them all the time. I didn't ever tell her about the last one. And I think I might have forgotten it. But I mean wackadoodle. No, I haven't forgotten. And that's the other thing. I don't remember dreams. And I, like remember these explicitly and I also um they stay with me I continue to think about them I don't ever have dreams where I don't just like have a, a fleeting thought and then I don't ever think about them again I I can't remember them anymore it's been so weird I know Dana I'm the same kind of person it's a very exhausting existence to be an empath because 
it's real hard and you can learn. I have learned to not take on everybody's thoughts and feelings and problems. I've had to learn how to do that because if not, you'll lose your mind. You will. Cause you can't, you know, what one person experiences in life is enough. Having to experience everybody else's is too much. Yeah, I Lisa is the only reason I know anything about it because I don't, I don't have time to pay attention to any of that stuff. She sends me videos, and most of the time I watch them. Sometimes I don't even have time, but most of the time I watch the videos that she sends me and keeps me a little bit abreast of what's going on in the beauty community. But you know, he was in a Rolls Royce, therefore he had a lot of good protection because they are built like tanks. <laughs> Me too. Me too, Dana. Most of the time over hurting over other people's problems and Right, right. My Both my parents had COVID. It was the scariest thing ever. And to wish that on anybody or to play with it like some young people have done, like at parties and, okay, I'm going in with this rusty shade now. Um, play with it like they had those COVID parties thinking it's some kind of joke. That kind of stuff. Whoo, this is pigmented. That kind of stuff makes me mad. Ooh, wee, this is a very pigmented shade. And this is that refer brush. Where being rich is a blessing because you have a fancy car that's prepared for something like that. I wonder who was driving. I wonder if they were impaired. Just, just a thought. Lisa can fill us in on the details. I know it was with his friend Daniel, which I didn't even know who Daniel was. And I don't know if Daniel was driving or if Jeffrey was driving. But either way, um, wishing any kind of misfortune on, on somebody just because You don't particularly like them as a human being. I just, I wish for healing, not just of his body, but of his mind. So I told Lisa, I was like, maybe that'll snap him into maybe having some, maybe he'll be grateful. Maybe he'll have some humility. I'm not, I'm not betting on it, but um. How did I get this brush wet? It's wet. Good gravy. Okay. Looking pretty so far. Hi, sugar. Well, whenever I was, when I was just, when I just got my driver's license, my dad took me to, um, an empty parking lot of a movie theater when there was ice everywhere. And he taught me how to drive on the ice. I'm going to use that rusty shade underneath my eye too, real close to the lash line. And then I'll, this is another one of those refer brushes. I like this one because it's super pointy and I can get right up to my lash line with the color without hurting my delicate skin there. Anyway, he took me to a parking lot of a movie theater when it was covered with ice and taught me how to like turn into, um, turn into your skids and stuff like that. I mean, you, it's, it's a, it's an, and even then 
you don't have any guarantee that your car is going to go the way that you want it to. It's just like, you know, best practices. If this happens, try this. And it's nice to meet you, Sugar. I'm Sherry. I live in Oklahoma. I'm a second grade teacher. And I love makeup. And you'll have to go back and watch the replay because I did a big haul of a whole bunch of different things. But we are super glad you're here and welcome. And it's very nice to meet you. And I am using the Natasha Denona Coral Palette. <laughs> and when I have it, see, I have a song for every occasion. Now that I saw that sugar, and now I'm like, sugar, yes, please. <laughs> Got my Maroon 5 songs coming to mind. Or even a country song, gimme, 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 gimme some of that sugar. Gimme, 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 gimme something sweet. They want my sugar and spice and everything nice and they're begging for a piece of that cherry pie. But I'm never, 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 never going to give them a piece. Jennifer Nettles. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice and warm. Okay, Lisa. Boo. Amen, Mary. That's exactly what he taught me. Ah, we're only like four or five hours away from each other then. I'm not very far from Dallas. Well, it's very nice to meet you. All right. Now, I think I'm going to go in with this on my lid. You can't even really see what color it is, but it's that really a lot brighter than I expected it to be. Peachy goldish color on my lid. Ooh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Ooh, wee. I like that. Ooh, it's gold, but it's got a peachy, got a peachy little tint to it. It's so pretty. See what I mean, though? It all goes together so perfectly. Hi, Lisa's journey, Lisa. Now we have two Lisas. Hi, Lisa. It's fun. We're getting some new folks that I haven't met before. I love that part. Aw, that is so sweet. Well, I'm glad, and I'm so sorry I've been so missing for like three months now but if you ever watch the beginning of my or somewhere in this middle part of the video we were talking about how life has been really difficult and not so conducive to me having time to do things for my channel but I'm getting back I am I got two videos filmed I haven't edited them yet but that's like just an accomplishment. And I did that before work at like five o'clock in the morning. Can you believe it? That's how much I love makeup in, in this channel is I'm still trying, even though life is throwing monkey wrenches in my life every 12 seconds. But I am so glad to meet you. I didn't know there was such a thing as silent supporters. Because, you know, I'm not silent ever. <laughs> Even when I'm not talking, I'm singing or humming or something. Okay, guys. My only option for this purpley, groovy thing that looks purple but really isn't is inner corner. So that's where I'm going with it. We'll see what it'll do in the inner corner. Thank you. Yeah, that is a good combination, Tanya. She said she'd pair it with her Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Yeah, 
they would go hand in hand very nicely, especially if you wanted a darker, um, like I'm, I'm kind of wishing for a dark brown. Yeah, this is going to be a good inner corner highlight. I'm wishing for a darker brown to deepen out the outer corner even more. But I'm just going to stick with this one for now. Because I just kind of want to see what it's going to do and what it's going to look like with just. But that's really kind of cool. It's a little bit purple. Hello, healthy home cooking. How are you? Yeah, it's been a while since I've been here myself, but I think three weeks. I like. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Lisa. And if you like pink, you're in the right place. I think um, Monique for, forbade me from using pink today. I'm pretty sure she did. Yeah. Well, being a nurse is kind of like being a teacher and having to have a mask on all the time. But um, I definitely still do my eyes. I still put on lipstick. I shouldn't, but because it gets smeared all over my face. Yeah, I agree. Isn't it funny? And I think it was me and Lisa, Lisa Lipsticks, that we had this long conversation about what we would do if we were building our own palette. And I told her, like, I already know what I would have in it. And I what the shade names would be even, like, even that. Okay, there's no pink. There's no pink. The coral, orangey coral thing is the closest you're going to get to it. Here's the thing. There is this, and I'm, I think I'm going to put that right there, and I think that might deepen this up a little bit. You know, I can't just leave well enough alone. You know. You know. So I'm going to put this rusty shimmer right there, too. This is a big old makeup loving party. It's doing my heart a lot of good. So thank you all for being here. I needed this. I certainly did. This was part of the conversation that I had with myself and God yesterday. Is how if I don't make time for fellowship, which that's what this is. Makeup fellowship with make it makeup love and kindred spirits. If I don't make time for stuff that feeds my soul, then no wonder I feel. And I'm getting all deep on you, but no wonder I feel um, spiritually empty. Whenever I mean, I always make time for church. I always make time for that, and it is very important. And it is essential for me i have to have that spiritual feel every day every day every week for sure i mean every day but every week i have to have church because i need that spiritual feel to get me through my week and so maybe this is my what i need on a personal level that's not a spiritual thing maybe that's what i need personally every weekend every Sunday to get me through <laughs> but yeah makeup fellowship time and so anyway this is what I this is what you get because I'm not doing a whole bunch of anything because I'm gonna put I have a feeling I'm going you guys are probably going to choose ginormous eyelashes I just have a feeling that you're going to do that I'll pull those back up here in a minute and let you guys choose but for now, I am going to just put on a uh, winged eyeliner and mascara and all the jazz. But yeah, you know, it's like sometimes you can look at things like this as, oh, this is the thing that I'm going to do every week. And this is the thing that I'm obligated to do. And when you think about it that way, it's not fun. But it's like, this is something I get to do. This is something that feeds my soul. You know, when you look at it that way, it's way different. It's not an obligation and something I have to do. It's something fun that I get to do. And something that I need. 
in my life. Okay, let me um, curl these non-existent eyelashes that I don't have. It's like once I put the, the eyelash curler on it, like they disappear because they're all in the curler. Yes, it does. And I am a big believer in that, Lisa's journey, and that is that God will put people in your life that you need, sometimes permanently, sometimes for a season, sometimes just for one little lesson that you need to learn. I have no doubts about it. All right, I'm going to use the um, thank you. It is a room slash office, and it is, you know, becoming super cluttery with all my keepsakes and things that matter to me. But it's just going to be that way because that's kind of how my brain looks <laughs> back there and over there. That's kind of how my brain is. <laughs> Just a big old uh, mess of pretty stuff. <laughs> All right. You guys talk amongst yourselves because you know. Yeah. We don't want to mess up the eyeliner. And if I talk, I will. I'm using the Superhero Gel Liner by It Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it pretty long because if I get big eyes or if I get big um, lashes. Oh, thank you, Monique. Ooh, my hands are shaky. I believe that like-spirited people are drawn to each other. And when you're supposed to be in that person's life, God will make a divine appointment for you. And yes, pink, pink, pink. <laughs> Everything's pink. I can't help it. And it's so funny because it wasn't my favorite color my whole life. I don't even know when I started. When I was little, it was purple. And as I got older, it started being green. And then I don't know when pink happened, but it is there and it's there to stay. Okay, I'm trying to talk. Stop talking, Sherry. Tell me, shut up. My husband's watching Duck Dynasty, I think. So that's probably what you get to hear while I'm putting on eyeliner. Ooh, that's a long wing. I use a magnified mirror, but then once I get done, I have to look to see what the shape looks like. Boom. That's a pretty nice wing. I have looked like Batman many years. Many years I look like Batman. I love pink. I just can't help it. What are you cooking, Erica? Erica is a culinary genius. She's a jack of all trades. She's an awesome cook. I learn a lot about cooking from her. <sighs> Miracles when you move, such an easy thing for you to do. And your hand is moving right now. 
I got this worship song in my head by Elevation. Cause I know, I know you're able. Mmm. Yum. I am coming over. So you have a song for every occasion. Now I got the Chris Young song, I'm coming over in my head. I'm coming over, running every red light. The closure, say before another time. Try not to think about you, but it ain't working. Why put out a fire? I don't like that one. I don't like that wing. That one looks funky. This whole side of my face looks funky today. You guys have one eye that you can do everything good on. The, the brow looks good. The Everything looks good, but it's all funky on, on one side. I guess because I'm right-handed. I think it's the left eye. That gives me trouble because I'm right-handed. And your hand is moving right now. Okay, I'm going to be satisfied with that. Okay, I'm going to put on this mascara real quick, and then you guys can choose the lashes. And I bet you you're going to choose some funky. It's going to pump up this mundane eye look into a new dimension. Ha <laughs> see? <laughs> yep, one eye always looks good, the other one looks like a hot mess. It must not just be me. I'm using Giga Black, uh, extended play Giga Black. My Holy Grail extended play Giga Black Flash Mascara by MAC. Yeah, I love sweet tea, but I don't drink it. I drink coffee and I drink water. And on a strange occasion, I'll drink lemonade. I was talking to Erica last night, and I noticed that I have a zit right here. I'm like, rude, rude. You know, I already had a bad week, and then and then I'm going to get a Tupac Shakur. I think Marlo has taken over. Marlo used to have all Tyrones. Hers were always Tyrones. But she done stole my Suge Knight. She done stole all the names of my facial blemishes. Because this would have been a Suge Knight, but since she stole it, I'm going to name this one Tupac Shakur. And he needs to get up off my face. And I'm going to use Monsure Big by Longcomb for the top. I'm trying to make it through this. I like this. I just, um, you know, we're going to put big lashes on, so it doesn't matter. I'm just darkening them and fanning them out a little bit. Not for one minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come, Holy Spirit is in this place. Lisa, how awesome was, I think his name is Isaiah. How awesome was he singing this song today? Oh, he's so awesome. If you guys are like Christian music and you've never checked out Elevation Worship, do it. You will not regret it. Poor Lisa, she probably can't answer me. Her phone is a problem child.
You know how as your phone gets older, you just kind of deal with the little things that it does. And then eventually it gets to the point where you're like, oh, no, like I can't deal with this anymore. <laughs> That's when it's time to get a new phone. Okay. For some reason, I don't know why I'm drawn to this one. Okay, we got Stellar and Nova. Take a good look. I love the one they played. It might get loud. It's a worship song called It Might Get Loud. And, of course, I'm, I can't remember how the beginning of it goes. Are you talking about Rattle? I don't know if we're talking about Rattle. And then we got Full Moon and Kiss Me. Oops. Nova. I think since two people said Nova, that's just what I'm going to do. Because I'm ready to get on with the party. <laughs> I actually, my first boyfriend... Well, not my very first boyfriend, but the my very first love. Um, drove a Chevy Nova. It wasn't cute because it wasn't very fixed up, but we sure did. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to cut these quite a bit. Right now, I'm just trying to get them off the packaging without killing them. Such an easy thing for you to do And your hands is moving right now Melting my heart of stone Ay 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 These are big Ugh, <laughs> uh, do it again Yes, ma'am. It's one of my favorites. I miss Mac. Mac is one of the worship singers from Elevation Worship, and he left, and my heart broke in 8,000 pieces. Okay, let me see. Whoo, these are big on the ends, folks. <laughs> These are big. Okay. See if it's going to fit. Holy cow. These are big. Woo. Speaking of flight of Jesus, this is going to make it easy. <laughs> okay. I am so blind. I really need to go over there and dig out my glasses from where they, from where, from whence they fell. I am really hungry, too. I just realized when I get really busy and I start, you know, I have like getting prepared for this and I had all these things that I needed to do before I started this, like eating just is not on the agenda. And now it's like, ooh, I don't feel good. I'm, I'm hungry. And it's like, what, 3.30? Yeah. Yes, I know you're a car girl. You are definitely a car girl. Erica is a jack of many trades, as I said. She could probably fix your car for you, too. My nickname for Erica, though, is Ellie Mae. Because she's like the animal whisperer. If there's an, a stray animal within 50 miles of her house, they will be coming to her house. Um, are you talking about the magnetic lashes that go on with magnetic liner? Or are you talking about the ones that have two pieces that are supposed to... Keyword supposed to 
close over your natural eye eyelash because those are from the devil in case you were wondering those are from the devil those lashes that are supposed to close over yours and connect together um no they don't no they don't they show don't okay now the magnetic liner those are cool and it's easier for me to put on just regular lashes just because I'm I have a lot of practice and I've gotten pretty good at it and it's much easier for me just to do that but if you're a novice and you are not good at false lashes and you need help then those are awesome because you put the lash or you put the liner on and boom stick it on and it makes it a lot easier i got it some new house of lashes blue it's getting gooky it's getting gunky um but i do have a suggestion if you're going to try it and that is put on your winged eyeliner or some black eyeliner like how you would eyeliner put it on first because that gives you a good guide an easy guide where to put the um, the magnetic liner so that you don't go ham and end up with eyeliner up to your eyebrow. I put on my real eyeliner first and then I go over it with the magnetic liner. Oh, those others are from the devil. I will not, no one, no one can convince me otherwise. You guys, I have a video of myself trying to put those on and I try if you guys don't know, I'm very stubborn. I'm very hard headed and I don't like to allow something to beat me. Therefore, I try to put it on 15 different ways. I try to cut it into two pieces. I tried to cut it into three pieces. Oh my gosh, by the end of it, I wanted, I mean, I wanted to throw them like, I think I did throw them across the room in the video. Okay, here I go. Ooh wee, these are gonna be let go. Let go. These are definitely fly to Jesus slashes, but I'm gonna have to pull it off and start over because I didn't go far enough over. All right. Hopefully I didn't completely jack up my eyeliner. Oh my gosh. See, I was bragging about how I'm pretty good at this. Uh, I take that back because today is not going to be a good eyelash day, apparently. But, you know, you guys that do eyelashes a lot, your first application of an eyelash is never usually easy. The second time you wear lashes, it's like awesome because it just is already formed to your eyeball, to the shape of your eye. Wow. Wow. Sheesh. Those are big. <laughs> big. I feel like I have an umbrella over my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called them lots of colorful adjectives myself. I just cut it out. I might have said, you suck. I'm pretty sure I said that directly to it. I probably looked it right in the eye and said, you suck. I don't like you. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I'm trying. These do not want to bend to my eye. Come on with it. Come on. This is so going to jack up my eyeliner. Just saying, I'm going to have to go back and fix my eyeliner because this is already pulling my eye down. Ooh-wee. Why I thought trying new lashes on camera was a good idea? I don't know. Tell me those aren't some fly to Jesus lashes. Like, hello. 
hello, hello. Oh, but it's not on there right. And there's glue all over my real eyelash. Woo. <sighs> yeah. The magnetic liner is super helpful for people who are not experienced. But apparently, I'm not very experienced either. Man, we're going to fight. We're going to have us a little tussle right now. When I say stuff like that, <laughs> it makes it very obvious that I'm in Oklahoma. We's going to have us a little tussle. Me and these eyelashes, we're going to have us a tussle, you guys. A little bit of a tussle because they don't want to sit up. And I like them to be sitting up a little bit more than this. But... Those are some eyelashes. Are you looking at me? Look at that. It almost looks like I have them over too far, but they're not even to the end of my natural lash line. Wow. I don't know if I like those. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm sure I have missed so many messages. I've got to find a lippy that is corally. I'm going to let my lash glue dry and um, let my lash glue dry because I know it's going to do funky business too. This would be good. It's going to do funky business to my eyeliner, so I'm going to have to fix it. Let's see. I don't even think I have a lash or a lip liner that's going to match this at all. Maybe I'll use Peachy Keen by Gerard. Maybe this one would work. Yeah, this one's better. This is called Ransom. I'm going to use Ransom. All over my lips and then I'm gonna put the I think this is called Magnolia oh my gosh it's so little anyway this is a um, lip gloss by Gerard Cosmetics I don't know that looks like it's hanging like it's not I don't know hmm I don't know that's those are some big lashes Anyway, I'm going to go in with Buxom Ransom, and then I think this is called Magnolia. I think it's a Supreme Lip Cream. My brain is mm, forgetting. Yeah, they are extra. These are Marlo lashes. I should have kept them for her. I need to call her since she's not here. I'll call her while I'm eating my meatloaf. This is very light, but it'll be an opaque base for the brighter lip gloss. My husband's watching. Oh my gosh, my brain is uh, uh, wars. Something wars. Oh my gosh. I can't think of the name of it. Something wars where they buy units, where they buy storage, storage wars. Hello. Okay, uh -huh. orange. Mmm, it looks pretty with this. I feel like I need to put it on and then use my finger. 
I don't know. Yeah. Guys, I'm losing my touch here because I'm tired and hungry. Okay. I'm going to stop. Eh. I'm getting it all over my teeth. Those of you who have watched my videos for long know that I have more lipstick on my teeth than I do on my lips most of the time. Okay. Everything is greasy. I know I set my face, but everything is creasy. Okay, I'm going to use this rose water stuff. So I'll tell you if I can stand the smell of it. But first, I'm going to fix my eyeliner. Whenever they're this big, it's hard to get past them to fix it. Because I don't want to have wonky eyeliner in the pictures. Because when you go like that and your whole eye is showing, you don't want wonky eyeliner. These feel so wrong. This feels wrong. These eyelashes feel wrong. You're a flea market queen. Yeah, it's fun. I do enjoy that show. He watches some things that I'm not much interested in. Because, yeah. Anyways, let's go in with this. We'll see what happens. Uh, ugh, the smell of it. I just know it's going to be gross. But anyway, we're going to go. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. It's yucky. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm -mm. I'm looking for my, whoo, it's, mm -mm. I'm going to go in with my Gerard Cosmetics uh, Dream si or Cream Sickle because I got to get rid of the yuck smell. Oh, I broke my, uh, you guys, like, like bad things are happening. My, my sprayer just broke. Okay, let me find another. Well, Lisa, thank you. I, this one is not good today, but thank you. It took me a year to figure out how to do my eyebrows. Maybe I can try to do something with my hair, but I think it's probably a bad idea to take it down. Am I back? It's probably a really bad idea to take my hair down. It needs a lot of work. Am I here? You guys wonder why I put my hair in a bun all the time? This. You wonder why I put my hair in a bun all the time? This. Because my hair is not pretty. It used to be, but it's not anymore. This is why my hair is in a bun all the time. This. It ain't pretty, you guys. It's not. I can't even make it that way. Okay. I'll stop whining. But this is why. And if I put, like, texture spray in it, and which I really love this I got on BoxyCharm Puff Me. I'll put this in it, 
and it gives it some grip and some zhuzh. Mm, I don't like my hair. To me, it's like not curly enough, but not straight enough. It's frizzy. Just, ugh, I just don't like it. It's just not good. But I'll try to make it look good enough and take some pictures for Facebook where I don't look like this. <laughs> I'm so excited that I got to see my girls. I got to I got to meet Lisa's journey. I got to meet... Oh, who, who else was new here today? There were lots of new people. Let me go back and look. I was so happy to see Dana. I do too, girl. You know how many products is in this now? Like eight. It's so sad. Lisa's journey. I was happy to see Sylvia again and my friend Becky. And Mary always, and Monique always, good to see you. Dana, it's always good to see you. Sugar, sugar, yes, please. Won't you come and put it down on me? Whatever the words are to that. Oh, healthy home cooking, it's good to see you again. Oh, if I missed any of your messages, I'm sorry. It's real hard to do makeup and talk and all that but yeah it's mm, whatever it is it's it's it, yeah whenever i um whenever i don't put it up like i had it up to keep it out of my face and i actually scrunch it and blow dry it and do all the jazz um i can make it look a little bit better than this and I am so happy that you that you came in and I got to meet you. It's so neat that I just never even considered that I had people watching that I didn't hear from on messages or something like that or on comments. So it's so great to meet you. I hope I was not a disappointment in person. I think I'm pretty authentic on my videos. I try to be who I really am on there, you know, quirks and silliness and all. <laughs> And lots of singing and, uh, you know, I'm not a good singer, but you get to hear me sing because I it makes me happy. Well, these are interesting is all I have to say. This one, I don't I don't think it's even connected over here now. Yeah, my hair is just a hot mess and that's just the way it is. And that's just the way it is. God made me this way. I need to I need to just embrace my frizzy half curly half straight kind of there kind of not here do yeah boom i'll pose for you boom <laughs> yes i i love you guys too and thank you so much for being here what are you saying liar for what did i say i don't know what i said that makes me a liar. But anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to go eat some meatloaf. And I'm going to work on my diamond painting. And I'm just going to try to have a relaxing afternoon. But thank you so much for coming. I enjoyed this so much. My heart needed this. My soul needed this. And I'm sending good um, I, I, yeah, eyelash vibes to Barry. Behave. Eyelashes behave. Behave. Don't be rude. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Those of you that I have on polo, I'll holler at you later. Those of you who I don't, why not? <laughs> I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Don't let the difficulties of life get you down. And don't forget that you're not the only one that's going through it. Everybody's going through it. And so if you're feeling like I was feeling on Friday, reach out to people that love you and give your, your feelings a safe place to land because we all need each other and it helps so much to do that. So I'm available if you need to talk. Love y'all. Until next time, take care and God bless. I love you.
Bye, guys. Did I wink for my friend Matthew? <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye. I don't know how to shut this off. See? All the crazy. Oh, it might be in stream. Thank you, sugar. Bye, guys. Am I still here? Is it over? Did it stop? Rude. Rude.